Hello guys and welcome to another video. The Big Old Monster Pro is the biggest electric unicycle you can get as of now. Its 24 inch tire is massive. Big Oddy has been improving this wheel and now we're gonna review the 2022 version of it. The Big Old Monster Pro has a battery of 3600 watt hour, 100 volt. It has a motor power of 3500 watt and the motor type is Hordo Motor. The weight of the wheel is 88 pounds, so it's really heavy. When you first look at the wheel, all you can think is that the wheel is big. It's huge, it's like practically a motorbike. What are the features of the wheel? The wheel is equipped with LED lights. It has a collection of patterns that are quite visible during the night. I really like wheels with LED lights. It's quite useful during the night. I must say that this wheel has the best LED lights since the Nikola. The Monster Pro has also a trolley handle that is in the middle of the wheel. That trolley on those works quite well. It feels a bit weak versus the weight of the wheel, but in reality it's fine. I mean, you gotta be careful when you try to handle the wheel, but if you're careful, it's fine. The power button and the lift cutter switch are both in the front of the wheel. I never use the lift cutter switch. It, the way it's placed, it's not useful. On the front, the Monster Pro has a voltmeter where you can review the voltage of your battery. The Monster Pro has also a front light, but honestly, it's barely usable. The wheel is also delivered with a seat. You install the seat on top of the handle of the wheel. Basically, when you install the seat, you cannot use the trolley handle of your wheel. I really don't like this setup. You should be able to use the seat and the trolley handle at the same time. Here, if you want to trolley your wheel, you have to remove the seat and then what do you do with your seat? You have to hold it. It's really annoying. Personally, I did a setup where I attached a shoelace on the seat and then when I want to trolley the wheel, I just put the seat attached by the shoelace on the trolley handle. With this setup, I don't need to hold the seat, but really, I'd rather have a wheel that has the seat integrated and I don't need to get worried about it. The shell of the Monster Pro is made out of plastic, but it's quite solid to be honest. I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of the shell. It looks quite sturdy. However, there's an accessory you can add to your Monster Pro. It's the monocustomized fiberglass shell. This accessory will not only protect more your wheel, but it will also transform the style of the Monster Pro. You can get it done with the color of your choice and just customize your wheel as you want. The Monster Pro is delivered with this uh, stock tire that I really recommend you to trash as soon as you get your wheel. I really don't recommend anyone to ride with the stock tire of the Monster Pro. Why is that? The tire is really soft, so unless you ride on perfect road conditions, I don't recommend that you use this tire as you can risk to bend your rim. I know it's painful to have to change your tire on a new EUC, but that's something you have to keep in mind if you consider getting a Monster Pro. You will have to change your tire with a street tire, for example, like a Michelin or whatever. But yeah, if you want to keep the stock tire, you risk to bend your rim and it's going to be a costly repair. I don't understand why they put this tire. Why Bigot put this tire? I don't understand. The wheel is really heavy. They should know. I mean, it's obvious. When you test the wheel, you see that that tire is soft, it's like spongy, you know what's gonna happen. As soon as I got my Monster Pro, I, I did not ride it, you know, I, I had to wait to change the tire, order the City Pro online, wait, and then get the tire changed on. It's perfectly unacceptable, to be honest, it's, it, it's, it's unacceptable. Top speed wise, the wheel is the fastest you can find as of now. The free spin top speed is 66 miles per hour. I've seen riders online reporting they reach 50 miles per hour on the Monster Pro. So what does it mean? It means that you have a lot of headroom with the Monster Pro. When we talk about seated riding, the Monster Pro is the king. The stock seat is wide, it's a bit stiff for my liking. I added something on top of it and then it's really great. I mean, if you are a tall person, you can sit and stand, no problem. So this version of the Monster Pro has a new motor and according to some rumors online, this new motor is supposed to bring more torque. Unfortunately, that's not the case. This Monster Pro has no more torque than the previous version of the wheel. In my opinion, the Monster Pro is not a torque wheel at all and this version proves it again. I did a few tests, I tried to overlean the wheel and each time I could feel the motor choking. Coming from the Bigo DX, I was used to have a powerful torque on my wheel and on the Monster Pro, I had to readjust my riding style. Anyway, after you get used to it, it's fine. I mean, the lack of torque on the Monster Pro is not really a problem. You just need to adjust to a new wheel. So yeah, this version of the Monster Pro doesn't have any more torque than the previous version. It's just a new motor. How do you know that you got a new motor on your Monster Pro? You just need to check the rim. The rim is different from the version 1 of the Monster Pro. One thing I advise on this wheel is to install titanium rod on your pedals. Why? 
because with the big tire, 24 inch tire, you can already absorb bumps better. And if you add the titanium rods, then you got a bigger feeling of suspension and then the ride becomes way more comfortable. The wheel is transformed when you put titanium rod on your Monster Pro. Without them, it's fine, you can ride, but like the bumps are way, way more stronger, especially the first time you ride this wheel. When you ride an heavy wheel, the bumps are more violent. But with the titanium rod, you get used to it faster. By the way, the stock pedals of the Monster Pro are not really great. They put the new system that flips the pedals without magnets, but that system broke after three days. Anyway, I replaced the stock pedals with the Bigot CNC pedals, which are much better in my opinion. Bigot should just include their CNC pedals on all their wheels and stop using these stock pedals. And I think they started to do it on their new wheels. Who is this wheel for? Basically, the Monster Pro is a niche wheel. So if you want to have a different riding experience with a wheel, you're looking for an EUC with the biggest tire possible. Yeah, you, the Monster Pro is for you. If you want a high speed wheel, if you are a tall, heavy rider, yeah, Monster Pro is also for you. As well as if you are looking for a wheel that has a lot of range, that is going to let you ride and ride and ride, the Monster Pro is a welcome addition for that. The wheel is really heavy. So I would not recommend that wheel for someone who wants a lightweight EUC. Of course, if you have to transport your wheel, on stairs, have to put it in your trunk regularly, you're gonna have problems with that. Also, if you want to have this massive torque on the wheel, Monster Pro is not for you as well. You have to get used to it, how to accelerate, how to brake. It takes some adjustment versus a smaller wheel. Anyway, I really love the Monster Pro. I really recommend it. It's a really unique wheel. It's a niche wheel. But once you start to ride it and get used to it, you will realize how pleasant it is to ride the Monster Pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you next time.